point you have to sit and analyze the 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 difference when you're saying disrespect. If you're gonna if you're gonna go through life as a woman and say I only care about the sexual exclusivity of my man, then what you're gonna end up doing is having a bunch of failed relationships and fucking loads of dudes. Okay. There has to get a point where you go, you know what? This guy ticks so many boxes. Once a year, twice a year, he's out with his boys, does some dumb shit. I'm just going to pretend I didn't notice because my bills are paid. I'm looked after. He, I can tell he cares about me. If I have a problem, he's going to fix it. He's ticked so many. That's the smart female move as opposed to go, I don't care how good he is to me. He fucked that bitch once, so I'm going to leave and I'm going to get another man who I don't love who will fuck another bitch anyway. And then I'll get another man who I don't love who will fuck another bitch. So end the cycle of dumb shit. Can I have a question? I have a question. I have a question. Is there ever cheating that's too far? <laughs> like so if a guy cheats on a girl is there ever a point where she yeah like, there's a lot of cheating there's completely a lot of cheating so like far. if he if he knocks up another girl would you Compl say all right far? all right so yeah. first things first i'm a man of my word i don't even think i'm a liar so here's your clementine <laughs> thank you and he peeled it what yeah. a gentleman. Thank you. i'm a gentleman <laughs> right so obviously i'm not saying blatantly disrespect your woman right she's your woman she's your queen she's the most important thing in the world to you she needs to be treated in a way that she feels that right but it's unfortunate because I keep tying back to this baseline point. But the reason I keep going back to this baseline point is to try and explain to everybody at home how simple world, the world can be if you go back to the baselines of it. Why do men cheat? Most women don't know. You'll see them all the time. Why do men cheat? Oh, because men are just stupid. And why do men fuck girls uglier than their main chick? Why do men do all this stuff? Do you know why? I'll tell you why. Let's go back to the first thing I've been saying this whole time. Status. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's my chick. She's home. Took this one home. Yeah, I got that one. She's chasing me. That's status. Dead. Status. Status. But it's but it, it's stupid to females. I get it. But that's the male world because sexual access is an easy indicator of status. So that's one of the reasons they do it, right? So you have to go back into the baseline of why men even cheat in the first place. I'm telling you, if you're a woman, the smartest thing you can do is look after your man. Make him not want to cheat. Be perfect. But there's going to be a time across a 20-year marriage. You might just need to be a little bit blind. A little bit. Just a tiny bit. Just don't look at his phone. So and you'll be cool. Is, so, you'll be so, cool. So, just make sure the bills are paid. He does his jobs to man. What now, if I'm you can saying, pay your own bills, but, but no, though? Saying, but this is it. We'll talk about that in a second. But I'm not saying allow this for some fucking Joe Schmo. I'm not saying let some fucking loser pick you up, lock you down, and go That's cheat. That's right. Know, I'm not saying that. I'm saying if he's a G and he's doing enough of his other jobs. As for you saying, what if you can pay your own bills? Then, then what's the reality you face? Just like I described earlier, I'm going to decide that the thing that I prioritize above everything, above his resource, above the amount he cares for me, you'll see men cheat on a woman and then cry his eyes out trying to get that woman back. He still loves you. It's not the same as if you cheated. He loves you with all his heart. He'd die for you. He'd take a bullet for you and he'd still fuck that bitch. doesn't matter. It's a different game for men, right? So you're sitting there going, well, I don't, I'm going to prioritize his sexual exclusivity over all of his other, all of his other attributes. You're just going to end up having endless failed relationships fucking too many dudes yeah. and then what's going to happen is your psychology is going to break because females don't like to accept the fact that if you sleep with enough men and you get rid of the stigma around a new dick your instant answer is constantly new dick ah he didn't text me today fuck it someone else ah he was rude to me fuck it I'll cheat ah he was this I'll get a new boyfriend and then you end up just jumping on cock all day and you're fucking done you need to, the, the reality is there has to come a point where you get a guy and he ticks boxes. And you're like, you know what? I'm wifey. I got the Bentley. He does whatever he does, but my bills are paid. That's so it. When, when would you say, when would you say it's too far? I'm, I'm just curious if there's a line that you would like, if he spends money on another girl, if he like, when does it, okay, that's a good and, question. And other second question. Do you think that men ever fall in love with side chicks? Very good question. And this is a long and in-depth answer, but it's a good question. Let me peel my clementine. But um, no, but it's a good question. Where is too far? I think publicly disrespecting is too far. So like you'll, you'll notice, let's take the Moscow G, all right? Let's take an oligarch, a billionaire from Moscow. He has his wife. He has the girls he's in the club with. The girls he's in the club with wouldn't fucking dare message his wife. They wouldn't dare step out of line. Like they know their place, right? So if there's a hierarchy and they know their place, that's one way of doing it. Mm -hmm. Spending money on a girl, sh certainly, yeah, because men show love primarily through our through our hard work. Not just through our resource, but through our hard work. If you take a man who's not particularly rich, he shows his wife love by getting up every day, going to work, 9 to 5, working his ass off, and paying those bills. That's how he shows love. That's why he does it for his wife and his children. Most men are out here working bullshit jobs, carrying trash. They're doing that to show love. So show giving money, yeah, that would be a far more scary indicator than just sex. Let me give you all an example. I don't know if you all know my history, but I used to run a webcam business a long time ago. Don't want to talk about it. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but I had a bunch of girls who used to sit online and talk to guys, and they had laptops, right? This is a long time ago. And I used to sit and say to some of the webcam girls, I'd say, this man 
who is sitting in and logging in every night and sending you money every day and telling you he's obsessed with you from the other side of the world and missing out on time with his family to sit here and talk to you and send you money. That is more cheating than if he just went out and banged something. If he went out and banged something and came home, mm -hmm. then done. But he's sitting here giving you his time, his money, his affection. That's cheating for a man. For a man to sit there and give money and time away, right? Yeah. So you have to stop this idea of sexual exclusivity. Yes, that's for females. That's how females show their love to men. It's not <laughs> how high status, at least, males show their love to females. And, and anyone who wants to disagree with me, call me wrong, call me misogynist, whatever bullshit. Yeah. Look at a history book. Every king, every sultan, every conqueror, every emperor, Every night, mm. all of them, all of them had maidens, wives, all of them. That's that's history. What level of oh. G do you have to be to be allowed to cheat? Well, no, no, no. it's not about even being allowed to cheat. I'm not even mm. saying that, and it also depends on the partner you're with. I'm not trying to sit here and advocate for men to run around and fuck a bunch of women. I'm not saying that. That's I'm what you're doing. No, but I'm not. No, 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 no. Let no, him no. explain. Okay. Let him land. Let no, him land. It's okay. about to come. Now, watch this. Let him land. No, but I'm not. Then. I, I'm not. What I'm actually trying to do is describe the baseline unfortunate realities of human dynamics. Mm. And, and I'm trying to explain now to the world that any woman can get a man who will not cheat on her if she's prepared to sacrifice a bunch of other things, perhaps, right? In the olden days, it was different. The world was a different place. It was a completely different place, and it was better. Now it's all fucked up. It's fucked up on every level. And men, especially the high-status men, most of them have struggled so hard to become high-status. They've been through so much shit to get where they are. It's like telling him, if you climb this mountain, you can go to a candy store. And he climbs to the top of the mountain, and the second he's in the candy store, after one piece of candy, that bitch is saying, no, no more candy. He's like, no, I just climbed this mountain. I just got rich. I just went through X, Y, Z. I finally got here. I'm finally in the candy store. And now you're telling me I can only have one piece of candy? Okay. What man do, 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 you think, do you think that men owe a woman loyalty if she was there from the beginning? Absolutely. They absolutely owe that woman lo loyalty. Oh, sorry, sexual loyalty. That's what I meant. Sexual, hey. sexual exclusivity yeah, yeah. is different. Men, sorry, I mean... Sexual exclusivity and loyalty are completely disconnected for males. Nobody wants to talk about this, but it's the unfortunate reality is true. I'm telling you, you can get a man, he can go on a holiday, can fuck some stripper, can come home, and you can lie detector test him. Do you love your wife? Would you die for your wife? Would you take a bullet for your wife? He'll pass the lie detector test. He loves her with all his heart. He'd do anything for her. It's just, it's just pussy. It's not okay. a big deal. It's but different. I, I feel like, I guess my question would be then is like, how do you view sex? Because I, I like sex at the end of the day is spiritual unification. I feel like I've gone through a lot of different stuff. I've had a lot of different experiences where I did not value myself. So I never had a man that valued me. So it's like, yeah, you rack up guys and guys you shouldn't be texting back or whatever. But I feel like there, I understand <laughs> that there is a difference with how men view sex and how they move around in the world. But it's like, Sex is a sacred thing, no matter a male or female is doing it. So that's why for me, like my biggest, like the hardest for me to understand is like, this is such a, a, a sacred thing. And it's just being, it's like a, taking a piss for a guy. Can, yeah. can I just say something? You sure you weren't making love to somebody that was having sex? I'm sorry? You weren't, you sure that you weren't making love to somebody with, that was just having sex? Hey, auntie, that's a nice, that's Have I, in there. No, th that's what it sounds like to me. It sounds like as women, they make love mm -hmm. to men that are just having sex. Right. That's but the that, difference. That's not the point. But, but my thing is, okay. I think, not all I the think, time. So I think when men hear that, though, it's like if it was sacred to you, you would have waited till you were married. But it's and like, I, I got, right. No, I yeah, get, I get yeah. that. But the, the reality is, is that the world is not so black and white. So I understand that there are these things in place that worked and made sense. And now we're approaching an era that like, we don't know what's going to happen, but there's gray area. You've had sex. I've had sex. She's had sex. We've had sex with different guys. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean that we're damaged goods. We're used goods. I understand status is a big part of that. I understand that sex is viewed differently, but I feel like you should not if you're if you're looking at face value, I can understand why you'd be judged from your past. Mm -hmm. But if if I'm a guy interested in you, I don't care about what you've done. But, 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 no, they, no, but that's the thing. The, the, like, like men, men do though. That that's the thing. Like like I, a virgin's more valuable to a man than a girl that's had sex with multiple men. Like it just is what it is. There's a limit. Uh, a but uh, the modern man's solution even, is even, not even, a virgin. A modern man needs a partner, somebody that's okay, actually some, okay, smart and okay, can survive in the world okay, of today. But I'm saying the men with and the that's going to be a lived the most, woman. The men with the most choice are going to pick women that are more pure in general. 
The ones are already like, self-made, I guess so. But that's the thing. The reality too, is, no, like. the reality is that there's a lot of men out there, especially in the world that we live in today, that need a partner. So it's time for those masses of men to start respecting women for the role they can play it's, in their I lives. I don't think, I don't do, think average men expect women you know to be virgins. Do you know what it is? Do you know what it is? But <laughs> it's this rhetoric that actually then is pumped into these minds and creates what people are not complaining about the misogynistic world. No, do you know that's what, what it is. And even in schools, it's, be, it's like it, permeated it through it all and perpetuated. Why is it misogynistic for men to prefer, prefer women that are more? It's pure. not that it's, but it's not that's not the problem the problem is now listen the maths is very simple you've got people like andrew tate talking about these things with such clarity and it makes so much sense because it is true right and then you have men that are in these situations where just average working an average job and they cannot fulfill whatever definition is called to be a man in these yes they can and that's no, what they, he said he did no. say that yes they can no, uh, a nine to five man can do it but then again but wait wait this is the thing what we're talking about as a man, and this is why I say it's very important for us to understand the person that we're speaking to, and I'm very glad that you clarified everything that you mean. Not every man is like Andrew Tate. Not every man is going to be able to even realistically demand for certain things from a woman. So the same way, way women need to compromise if it comes to a man who is going to cheat on her because he's a top G, is the same way men are going to have to 